why are bone marrow biopsies necessary? So uh, until we find a better way to evaluate disease biology, the bone marrow biopsies are going to be a very important part of um, you know, your, your journey in myeloma. Um, each time myeloma comes back, the disease biology is different from before. So it's important for us to not just understand it, uh, we, we are starting to get to a place where we can tease out what therapies patients need uh, for, for certain subsets. So I think it's, it's, it's important. Uh, myeloma is not one disease. Even within a given patient, it's not the same. You have many different clones of myeloma. So as the disease evolves, it's important to kind of uh, keep a check on some of those things. Patients do pick up other abnormalities that they did not have at the time of diagnosis. And we won't know about them unless we're doing a repeat biopsy. What testing is done on the bone marrow biopsy sample? Most myeloma centers would be doing um, cytogenetics, fish panels as a standard of care, along with flow cytometry. And then we look at certain markers on, on the bone marrow aspect and biopsy. And then we are doing gene mutational panels in the context of certain clinical trials or, or, or projects to tease out specific gene mutations that patients may have. The big example that all of us are excited about is the MyDrug trial that's uh, moving through the Multiple Myeloma Research Consortium, where we are using those gene mutational panels to identify patients who have uh, specific abnormalities and then give them the treatment that actually will, will hopefully have an impact for, for that subset of disease on top of the standard of care. So I think that that's, that's where we, we are going to head um, in treatment. Unless you're doing the biopsy, we won't know.